Hi and welcome to the budget meals under five dollars. That's right, budget meals under five dollars. This is an open collaboration and it's hosted by me, myself, Brenda, and um, I'm Maniac Grammy. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that bell. You'll get all my notifications. I try to put out a video every day. I try very hard. You never know what's going to be on my videos. Neither do I. So hop on over and see what I got. Well, it's getting harder and harder to come up with meals for under $5 or $5. You can make a meal for one, two, three, four, five people, whatever you'd like. As long as it's under $5, it can be a dessert. It could be um, an appetizer. It could be a meal, a breakfast, lunch, supper, whatever you would like. Just give us some ideas, share some ideas with us so we all can get ideas on what we can make. As you know, prices are going up in the grocery stores and we all need some ideas. And um, yeah, so we can share them. And I'd love for you to join in so we can make this group grow and make it big and get ideas and share. It's all about sharing and use what you got and come up with great ideas, make a meal for your family. And look, the sun just popped out. I wanna say I'm so happy because the month of June, we've only had maybe four to five days of sun and it has rained every day and it rained today up until three o'clock and there is the sun. Yay, thank you God for that. Thank you, thank you. Let's get back to the subject. Sorry, I'm just so, so happy. So anyways, we'd love for you to join in the collaboration. Just use hashtag budget meal under $5. That's right, just hashtag budget meals under $5. And like I said, we'd really, really love to have you. Now, I am going to show you something that my grandmother used to make. Um, the only difference is, is she would switch up on the vegetables. I got thinking and thinking, and I asked my dad, I said, can you help me out? What did Graham used to make? And he couldn't think, because my grandmother used to make certain meals every day, like spaghetti, meatloaf. I mean, it was different meals, but we knew what we were going to have just about every day of the week, except for Sunday, and she always put a big spread on and all the family came and the grandkids, everybody came to my grandmother's. She's a wonderful, wonderful lady. God bless her soul, she's passed away. I was so blessed to be able to be raised by a wonderful, wonderful grandmother. I couldn't ask for a better one. So this is what I came up with this week. This is under $5. Sweet peas, you can get, um, vegetables at Walmart. They used to be 50 cents. Then they went up to 52 cents. And now it depends on what you get. It goes 52 to 54 and they vary on the vegetables, 74 or 84. I believe this was 52 cents when I got it. So we're going to take a can of peas. I've had these skillet potatoes for quite a while and they're good until... August of 23, 2023, these are the skillet potatoes, fried skillet potatoes. Of course, my grandmother would never think about using anything like this. She used sliced real potatoes. Being from Maine, a potato state, we all use Maine potatoes. And I got a fly in here. No place to go because it's been raining. But all you do is add a little bit of oil and water in a 10-inch non-stick non skillet. You stir the potatoes and do not add seasoning. You want to heat to boiling. Reduce the heat to medium. Cover and simmer 10 minutes. Uncover, sprinkle the season over the potatoes. Stir until the potatoes are well coated. Continue cooking uncovered over medium heat turning frequently six to nine minutes. 
How awesome is that? Six to nine minutes. This all should be done all at the same time. So the calories for this is, this is about four servings per container. Uh, cholesterol zero, sodium 390 milligrams, total carbohydrates 26. Dietary fiber three grams, total sugar two includes added sugar one gram and two, pro, two grams of protein. So that's that. And we got the peas. And now we got the beef bologna. You can see it's been opened. It's been used. We've got that much left. We've had sandwiches. We fed Maggie. Maggie loves bologna. We've had bologna and san we've had bologna sandwiches. We fed Maggie. And what you want to do with this is have fried bologna. My grandmother used to fry bologna, fried potatoes, and a vegetable. Under five dollars. Um, so this is going to give us well, we've had sandwiches. One, two, three. This is going to give us, out of this package of bologna, four meals. So that's good. But this meal is way under $5. This was $1.25. This was about $0.52. Cents. This was six dollars i think in 54 cents you divide that into four meals and there you have it so you're going to have fried bologna skillet potatoes and a can of peas sweet peas don't want to forget that sweet peas and there's our budget meal for this week actually if you had some jello you can get jello for under a dollar. You could squeeze that in too. So that's it, folks. You can do a lot with bologna if you think out of the box. And if you've had fried bologna, let me know because it's very tasty. Karen Maine, the older folks, not so much the younger generation, but like still my generation, they know what fried bologna is. And my son knows what fried bologna is. Um... And it's pretty darn tasty, too. So let me know if you like fried bologna. Fried bolognese and taters taste pretty darn good. Now, I'm not sure what it's going to taste like with these because these are pretty flat potatoes. I'm used to big old chunky potatoes, but we shall see. But that's what we're going to be having for a meal. But tonight, I've got a, this is being recorded on Tuesday night. I've got to um, stop this video and go make a meatloaf. That's what we're having for supper tonight. I'm making a meatloaf. So everybody have a great night. I'm happy the sun's out. And take care. God bless. Please go over and support all the other gals and guys that's in this collab. And I hope to see you next week. Please join in. It's a lot of fun. Let's see what idea you have. Have a good night. Stay safe, stay cool, and stay dry wherever you are. Bye now.